Okay, I want to go back and talk about the origins of, of Agile software development. Agile software development is nothing new. Agile software development attempts to name a quality of software development that's existed ever since software development has existed. If I go back from the beginning, I have to look at my slides to remember. Sorry, and it's on tape, so everybody knows I look at my slides. <laughs> it, since the very first, has anybody ever read a paper uh, from a guy named Winston Royce before called Managing, software to, uh, Managing the Development of Large uh, Software Systems? Has anybody heard the name Winston Royce before? Did he, did he first write about Waterfall? He did. He first drew, wrote up a paper, that paper, it's easy to find on the web, and the second diagram in the paper was a picture of that common waterfall model that said requirements, design, development, test, and, and installation integration. Immediately following that diagram, and it's the second diagram uh, in, the, in the paper, was a quote that says, this looks like it should work, but in fact it's very risky. Don't do this. And it's followed by a number of other diagrams that show lots of other process models with lots of feedback loops. And one of Winston Royce's things that makes him most sad is he got credit for inventing the waterfall model. But ever since punch cards, ever since punch cards, people have known that this has been a bad idea. Uh, if we keep going up the stack, we eventually find Scrum being first tested and tried out in 1986. Scrum is now commonly identified as an agile process. Uh, we find other types of things people have done. Uh, Crystal software development emerged in 1997 from a, a friend of mine, Alistair Coburn. What's referred to as an agile process these days, feature-driven development uh, came out in 1998, was documented then. Adaptive software de development in 2000. And then, although its origins are in 1996, I put extreme programming at the very end of this list. Extreme programming isn't the dominant Agile practice now, but back in 2000, it was really hot. It was really cool. I was working at a company in 2000 that was practicing extreme programming, and Forbes magazine came in our company to do a story on us because we were practicing this new edgy way of doing software development. So the rest of these people that have been doing smart things with software development started asking questions that, why are they getting all the attention? Why is, why is XP so uh, popular as a particular process when we've been doing this stuff for so many years? So there's been this undercurrent of people talking about better ways to do software for a long time. It was XP's success that acted as a bit of a catalyst that brought people together, and there was just 17 of these people that came together at a ski resort in, in just out of, outside of Salt Lake City, Utah, which is actually which is where I live. So that's kind of ironic. Uh, but it's not where I lived in 2000 when I was practicing this stuff. It, all these participants, the people, these 17 people disagreed on specifics. All of them were, were, were profound software gurus. But I, if, if all 17 of these people work together on, on a particular software project, you'd never get anything out of them. They would spend all of their time arguing about how to do things differently. They're, they're the most unproductive combination in the world. But they shared some sort of common under, underpinnings or common philosophy. And those, that common philosophy got published as the Agile Manifesto, which doesn't mean much, or which doesn't uh, say much. It, it, it's, Stated as some, uh, it's stated as some value pairs of, of two things that are important, and while we value the thing on the right side, we value the thing on the left side more. So the, the first pair is individuals and interactions over process and tools. The idea here is it doesn't matter how good the process is we follow, if our people are crap, we're not <coughs> getting anything out of this. And if you take good people and put them in any process, they'll produce. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Back when, back when Agile development was first, back when the manifesto was written, there was a rampant problem of 
projects going into analysis paralysis of writing a lot of design documents to start with and never getting to the phase of actually starting to write code. And, and this is, was their way of saying, just write some software, please. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation says if we try and decide up front what we want and we go into a contract negotiation phase of change requests, we start focusing on that contract and not focusing on working together with you to figure out what you want. It's interesting that most of the 17 that wrote this were actually consultants, so when they refer to customers, they really are referring to their customers, the, the people that, that, that hired them to get software written. And this was a term that worked well for internal IT organizations where uh, in internal IT, your customers work for your company. It's, it's not a term that resonates well with product companies whose customers are outside. Uh, we don't, uh, Yahoo doesn't collaborate much with me. I don't know about you guys, but there's not a lot of customer collaboration on, on, in, in a lot of product companies. And then finally, responding to change over following a plan, which is kind of a mom and apple pie statement. That, that don't, don't follow plans that, that aren't good. So we pay attention to what's going on. So it was a set of values that got expressed, and then behind that were a set of 12 principles, which I'm not going to go through, but they're easy to look up on the web, that start to describe characteristics of what a good software development process looks like. And it's important to note that even the 17 people in the room at the time didn't agree on all the characteristics. Uh, that some of, the, uh, of those 17, they all approximately agreed on about eight or nine. Uh, and they all had their uh, ideas about which eight or nine were the most important. 